Ardalin's staff is in our possession. We did not sell it along the way to anyone. Although it probably could fetch a tidy sum. No! No, Brandar, don't even think of such things. <laughs> ah, good morning, friends. Brandar has returned from the void. We did have a nice little nap. Cat nap, I must admit. And now it is the early morning, about 7 in the a.m. Ah, it is a pity that I had to be assaulted in such an uncouth fashion. But now we must carry on, try to put such things behind us. I don't like the bloodshed, friends, surely you know this by now. Ah, deer in the distance is quite a lovely place. Ah, and the Emperor's phallus. Even after his death, it remains erect. <laughs> ah, what is this I hear? Another foul thing. Whoa, that did not come from that way. Ah, the shield cannot stop it. Yeah, powerful imps. Ah. Don't like! You must leave this place! At least his health does not regenerate, friends, but. Ah! Oh! Ooh, he does hit! Quite powerful! Quite powerful indeed! Mm, I wonder if I should best him in combat. Ugh. Or just take my hits and be done. I think I know the answer to that one. Perhaps we can, uh. find an unsuspecting wizard who might take care of this imp for us, one way or the other. A little, uh, a little cowardice never hurt, friends. Don't stand and fight if you obviously are outmatched. My speed is, uh, being drained. I do hope this thing shall give up soon. Ah, and it seems he has. Wonderful. Then back to Braville. Oh, my goodness. If I don't return this staff, friends, I can only think that the, uh, the bloodshed will get worse. The curse shall only grow larger, so I must complete this task that I have taken on. Perhaps I should not, uh, also speak ill of the Emperor. Although the, the signs are all around me. I would like to travel down the green road to Berville, but it seems brigands have taken over the roads in this section of the land, which leaves me quite troubled. Come on! Yeah. Ah! That's right. Dogs. <laughs> Everyone knows cats are better. Although I might be a bit biased in that uh, in that decision. Hmm? <laughs> Ah, I must admit, I'm not quite sure where I am currently, and I do hear something behind me. Hello, friend. Away! Away! Yeah. Whoa. You stand no chance. My dagger will cut you to ribbons. We do have plenty of nice wolf pelts, especially from our spelunking, spelunking in the cavern. Oh no, what is this? Why is this? <sighs> Always oh, a terrain. Oh. You just can't seem to escape it, friends. It doesn't matter what section of the world you run to. Ah, perhaps Skyrim is fit for me. At least the rain would not be so wet upon my head. Although the snow, once it does melt, uh, might find its way through my impenetrable fur armor. Hmm. Such curiosities. Ah! I, I feel I've been here before. This place does look quite familiar. Please, Rain, go away. There is nowhere to stop here. Oh. Oh. Did it listen? It listens, friends. Perhaps my luck is turning around from returning the staff to Ardalin. Yes, it's quite difficult to say. I will say I don't want to go over there and fight more magic users. That imp has put the fear into me. 
Yes, we can continue just down to the green road. And perhaps uh, it will be a short trek. If we get any bandits behind us, the guards are more equipped to deal with them than most. Commoners, not so much, you know. I do hope they have moved that body from in front of Braville. Oh. Whoa. Let us see what good is. I draw power from this well. I feel stronger, friends. Hmm. Perhaps we should find a fight to get into. Ha <laughs> ha! I kid, of course. Brandart does not like the bloodshed so much. I would rather sing a silly tune. Oh my. Many wolves. Yeah. But they are only prowlers. He's got his friends coming around. Ah. They try to get on all sides. They're not as dumb as they look. Oof. And I've missed. Yes, I mustn't underestimate them. That is one thing that you can be sure of. Run from me! Ah, I shall dispatch his friend. Did you not learn your lesson? Hmm. Leave one to repopulate the land. Surely Brandar could have whipped out his bow and done away with this silly wolf. But no matter. It is a waste of arrows. I should like to think that uh, those pelts would collect some money, but it's not worth it, friends. I would just like to get to Braville as fast and, and as unburdened as possible. Hmm. <laughs> this campsite definitely smells abandoned for quite a long time. Yes, I see no one around. Well. I shall uh, note it down, I suppose. If we do need a quick spot to rest, it couldn't hurt. A little more nightshade, we can manufacture some poison. Yes. Ah, poisons do come in quite handy, don't they, friends? I think that was showcased in the wolf pit. Ah, we are almost to Braville now. But the weather does not seem like she is going to. Gah, gah! <laughs> Every time, and I put up with it before, and I shouldn't put up with it anymore because I'm already cold and I'm just getting colder. <sighs> Won't you have mercy? Please. Ah, some mercy. This is quite a strange land. I don't understand this weather pattern at all, hmm? Perhaps it is El Nino, which of course is uh, the rain god. Not many people worship him, but Brandar is surely not going to be one of them. In fact, I've only heard of one man who worshipped him. He lived in uh, the woods in Skyrim. Surely he did not realize the uh, full devastating power of the rain. People who live in the tropics can tell you. The Argonians, I'm sure, can tell you. Brandar can tell you, but I might uh, overestimate things just a little bit, friends. Ah, uh, I still don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why. Freak out, panic. It's it's in my nature, I suppose. Ingrained deep within me, to be sure. Braville should be just over this hill, I should think. <laughs> I cannot smell it yet, but we are downwind, I believe. I can use my dagger as a wind compass. You just lick one side of it and put it up in the air. Oh my. Dryads and bears? No, no. I do remember seeing them in, uh, in Cyrodiil before. But, they were not to be trifled with then, either. I'm a bit stronger now, yes. But I'm not eager to see the swarm of bees. Even if you are victorious, you are sure to take at least some damage. And friends, I'm just not, not up for it. 
I've got the staff. We need to make a run for it. <laughs> yes, yes. And there. I believe they have lost interest. They're just very territorial, you know. I wander into their territory and they chase me out. That seems fair to me. Although Brandar has not claimed any territory of his own, I think that all territory should be at least loaned to wanderers. That makes good sense to me. Hmm. Yes, Braville. Quite close now. I do see it. Haha. <laughs> We've made it, friends. Ardalin's staff is in our possession. We did not sell it along the way to anyone. Although it probably could fetch a tidy sum. No! No, Brandar, don't even think of such things. <laughs> you must go give it back. We must talk to Kudai about the curse that lays upon my head. She speaks in the riddles, this one. But, uh... We have a bit of a history. I think that I could coax something out of her, surely. Mm, more flowers. Brandar does like flowers. Oh my. <laughs> Is it a troll? It's a troll! Oh my, and he has a friend. Nope. Not today. Up, around. We are... Oh my. <laughs> hey, here's that wizard I found earlier. I forgot to loot him. Found gauntlets. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, I leave you nude. Goodbye! <laughs> that's what you get for attacking Brandar. Haha! <laughs> I shall go get some help from the guards for these troll brothers. Ah, the curse seems to be uh, strengthening no matter my action. Sometimes I think it is better, then it turns around and it is immediately worse. Guard! Guard! Assist me! Look out! Yes, civilian run away, that's good. Guard, let's go take care of this. Ha ha! Wonderfully done. Brandar will help from way back yeah. here. Ah! There's one. Get him! Get him, guard! Yes! Aha! You stand no chance now, troll. You're quite outnumbered, huh? Ha ha! Well done, friends. Quite a good, a good thing we did today. Clearing the woods. If and you're what looking is your to buy name? a horse, go inside and talk to Isabeau. Isabo, Isabo. Hmm. That Goodbye. name sounds quite familiar to me. I don't know if uh, I can talk to her again anytime soon. Well, I can talk to her, but I, I can't expect her to talk back, I think. Are you Isab? Yes, you are. What a shame. <sighs> Won't be buying a horse in Bravo. <laughs> I can tell you that much, friends. Which just seems quite a shame. I should not laugh about such things. Spare a coin. Ah, nobody can spare a coin, friend. It is simply the world we live in. Some people are more generous than others, but uh, Brandar is not one of them. Brandar is the one who asks for things. Varen Vomori has locked his house. He is probably quite scared of a, a midnight prowler. <laughs> Ah, and the Mage's Guild. I should like to pick. Pick! And now, we shall go have a talk with my good friend Kudai. Ah. And the Varen Vamori. Greetings, Kudai. How do you fare? Oh my, I must good to wait. See you. Yes, and you. Along with you. Thanks so much. All right, is it safe? Could I? Do you I... have the mage's staff associate? Yes, yes, of course. Hold one second. Ah, wonderful. I shall be most pleased to return this to its rightful owner. Thank you. You needn't tell me the details of what was involved in getting it. It's perhaps better that I know nothing about it. <laughs> you know me too well. It. Your actions for the guild more than merit a recommendation. I shall send it to the university promptly. And, to thank you more personally, I shall teach you this spell. You may find it useful in certain circumstances. Ah, that is quite helpful. A charming spell. 
for ca for captivating Brandar. But now I must ask you seriously, could I? The recommendation is quite appreciated, but the curse does still hang over my head. <laughs> Do you really think you'd be allowed in a mage's guild if you were affected by such a curse? The guards might not notice, but even the most impotent mage would detect a curse of the nature you describe. Then how can the trolls be explained? I've got imps swarming me at every turn. Brandar, Sarah, endless playtime has led you to being unprepared for mortal combat. Wolves and goblins are one thing, but Cyrodiil has become increasingly dangerous these past years. I've come from Morrowind. I thought the swamps were the worst Tamriel had to offer. One who lives in a litter box shouldn't talk so loosely. Watch that silver tongue of yours, old friend. But focusing on the true matter at hand, and I tell you this in complete confidence, the gates of oblivion have been opened. Daedra are plaguing the land. This one considers you extremely lucky that trolls and imps were the worst you've come across. Oblivion? You mean to tell me curses aren't real, but parallel universes are? Both are quite real, Sarah, but only one is affecting us presently. I've done my fair share of traveling in this land already, and I've seen no such thing. Unlike the planes of Adra, mortals cannot see or detect the existence of the Oblivion plane. Instead, the mortal brain interprets Oblivion as the black nothingness of space, literally seeing it as an empty void. The only real indication that Oblivion exists are the sun and stars, at least until now. Aren't the mages able to fix this? We have not prepared for a threat of this level or this scale. The Arcane University is hectic with our best scholars attempting to find a solution, but no word has come of yet. How, how, how would one close the gates? Hmm, enough questions for now, kitten. This one grows weary of the interrogation. Well, okay. But could you at least give me a scratch behind the ears? For old time's sake. Before you run off to find your death? <laughs> I think that would be nice. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.